Grandma? It's me, Cameron. I'm Lisa's daughter, can you hear me? Lisa, your daughter? I can't believe how long it's been. I just finished my spring semester and I wanted to visit you even though you and Mom aren't talking. Now you're not talking at all, apparently. Uh, I brought some sheet music. Do you want to hear the piano? I feel so bad that you ended up here all alone and on the East Coast. Seeing you now, I wish I had come sooner. If you would listen to Mom and us, then we would see you all the time. But now it's too late for you to fly across the country. Family is so important. And New York is your independence. I get it. But support is important too. You get it. But you don't get it. Fucking bitch! Ouch. Ugh, Grandma, did I scare you? I'm so sorry, I would never say that to you. Though you might say it to my mom, or to me, I guess. So that's Jacob, and Alex, and Lisa, my mom, and Joe, my dad, and me. That's cute. That was such a fun trip. My mom wrote you a card, but I left it at home like an idiot. It said something like, thanks for all you've given me. Knowing her though, it probably meant, thanks for nothing. Glad I could micromanage my way out of your mistakes. Are you smiling? Grandma, what are you smiling about? I do think there's something amazing about you two. Though maybe not your relationship. You both have this strength. You're both free spirits with high standards. It's a gift you've given her. And I like to think to me as well. It's crazy that we've never gotten to know each other. When you were awake, I was too little to be aware of who you were. And now that I'm old enough, you're silent. I'm studying theater, you know. I want to finish your plays to continue the Jewish dialogue that you started. You took such a risk. Switching careers. Becoming a playwright. I love the theater too, but it's hard out there. And the competition and... Fuck. How do you fail out of theater school? Why is everyone so unmotivated? Why can't I just do something without sabotaging myself? You have to take me to my doctor's appointment. I have to take you to your doctor's appointment. I know you've been listening to me. Your doctor told me you still talk. So you just decided to sit there and judge me? You knew I would talk about Mom. You knew you'd feel guilty. Why don't you reach out to us? Why are you so mean to Grandpa and Mom? Why don't you have any friends? You don't have to say anything. You can laugh at us. I would never laugh at you. You didn't want to smother her because you didn't want her or any of this. But still, you pull her. She'll never visit you, but we all feel your pull. I wanted to reach you. But all you want is to watch and collect your tribute. 
I've learned a lot from you. I'll never be like you because I'll keep changing. I'll take what you are. What's close? What's it called? Family. Spirit. Us. Me. Thank you. You taught me to love my mother and myself. Thanks, Bobby. I'm going home.